Hi, this is Jack with Two Brothers Adventures. Today we're going to build an AR-15 upper in 300 blackout. It's going to go with my um, lower here that we built in another video. This is the Spikes Tactical Zombie Lower. So we have a video where we built this and put it all together. So you can check that out if you're interested. So the upper today we're going to use a Spikes Tactical upper. We use a Spikes Tactical M16 bolt carrier group here. We're going to use the Radical Firearms 300 blackout 1 and 8 twist 16 inch barrel. This is melanite coated inside and out. We have a pistol length gas tube, melanite coated from Radical Firearms, and a Radical Firearms gas block. Then we're going to be using the UTG free float super slim rail uh, front hand guard, and that is the uh, 13 inch model rifle length. It comes with a wrench and barrel nut and all the hardware to secure that. And then we have a Seekins uh, thread protector for the front of the barrel because I'm not sure what kind of um, muzzle device I want to put on that, whether I want a brake or a flash hider or what I want on there specifically. So we're going to go ahead and assemble that and we'll show you each step as we go. Okay, first thing we're going to do is install the barrel. Now I put a little bit of gun grease on the threads and a little bit on the uh, barrel portion here. You see there's a little key here, goes into the little slot right here. Pretty simple, just slide this in. Just like that, make sure it's flush all the way around. Slide on your barrel nut. Then you put your wrench on. And you make sure on uh, this UTG that you put it in this center slot, not this outer one. This ring is too thin to put a, any torque on right there, so you want to do it right here. So you get your torque wrench set at 35 foot-pounds per the manual for the minimum torque setting. And we're going to go ahead and give this a, a twist. So that's it for installing that portion of the barrel. Okay, so once you get your barrel nut torqued down, you take this other piece for the UTG handguard and you put this slot right on the top here and make sure that's squared up. And then what you want to do is make sure that through these slots here, you can see two holes here, two holes in the bottom, and two holes on this other side. Make sure that you can get those screws in there because you're going to slide the handguard on like this and then that's what's going to hook it on right there. If that doesn't line up, the um, UTG handguard comes with some spacers that you can put on in front here and that'll give you the space that you need to line those holes up. Okay, next thing we're going to do is assemble our gas tube into our gas block. So what you want to do is make sure that the gas hole is pointed down towards the inside of your gas block and then you're going to line this hole up with this hole in the top of the gas block right there. That's a pin hole so that you can uh, it's not going to move and then I like to take a little punch just put down in there like that, and then you can see that that's in the correct position. And then we're going to go ahead and put our pin in to hold that there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is, now that we have the gas tube installed in the gas block, is we're going to put the gas block on. First thing you want to do is take your set screws out of the bottom. You can just loosen them or take them all the way out. We took them all the way out so we can see the indent into the bottom of the barrel uh, that the set screw goes into to make sure we get that lined up. And you got to remember what the UTG handguard that we're using to put this piece on here that goes up under here that the screws go into to mount it. And then you go ahead and slide your gas block on and the gas tube goes right here into the hole in the front of your receiver and then the gas block needs to go all the way up against this little line right here and you might have to persuade it just a little bit just like that go over and turn over and that's lined up right there there's a nice little piece of uh, red paint right there. I don't know if you can see that down in there to show you that you're lined up. And then we'll go ahead and lock tight and uh, put our set screws in. Okay, the next thing we're going to install is the hand guard. So on the UTG what you need to do is make sure that this piece has this groove lined up with your gas tube or with the top of the barrel. That lines up your holes and you want to slide this on. Right over the barrel nut. And then the nice thing about this UTG is that it comes over the side of your upper receiver and holds it so it can't torque side to side. Now we're just going to go ahead and put in the six screws and we'll be done with that installation. Alright, we're going to finish the barrel off now with the Seekins thread protector in OD green. 
what this is going to do is protect these threads until I decide what kind of uh, muzzle breaker or flash hider I want on the front or it just looks nice just like this gives it a nice finished tip there you go just like that all right we're going to finish it off by using a charging handle from strike industries and our spikes tactical bolt and I'm going to put it on the lower And there we go, a completed 300 blackout.